Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to SIRS, uh, those of you who are visitors, and uh, welcome to this session, those of you who are already part of SIRS. Um, my name is Gaimon McLennan from the Turkish Studies um, part of the New Middle East Department here in SIRS. Um, it's a particular pleasure for me to be able to uh, welcome James Amgar here this evening. He's one of Turkey's most distinguished uh, journalists and broadcasters, uh, and someone involved in the the academic world as well, and with a distinguished record as a foreign and war correspondent. Um, he studied as a young man in the late 60s at the Faculty of Political Sciences in Ankara, which produced some of Turkey's most outstanding elite generally, and in particular Marxist elite. Um, and uh, he emerged as president of the student union there and then moved to the Middle East Technical University, also in the Turkish capital, to start what appeared to be a promising academic career. But that was cut short by the military regime of 1971, um, which um, didn't like the fact that he'd also been editor of something called Proletaire de Dungi Eidlifter, he said, the Proletarian uh, Revolutionary Enlightenment magazine, and he found himself locked up fairly smartly. Um, and soon after that, despite the prosecutor, I gather, asking for a 40-year sentence, um, he uh, eventually managed to get out of Turkey and move for the first time to the Middle East, to Lebanon and Syria. Um, and uh, I think we'll be hearing more, I hope, about that uh, from James Bay uh, later. Eventually coming back to Turkey in 1976, working for Sabah and Jumuriyet newspapers, and uh, emerging <coughs> as a increasingly distinguished journalist building on his experiences in the Middle East and extending that by visiting what was then the Soviet Union, the Caucasus, uh, parts of Eastern Europe, uh, and uh, eventually also uh, returned to the academic world uh, and did stints at Bilgi University and the Istanbul Culture University uh, in Istanbul. Um, the Turk of Erzal, the late Turk of Erzal, who was Prime Minister of Turkey during the 80s and later President, uh, was attracted by uh, Genghis Bey's uh, knowledge and understanding of the Arab Middle East in particular, and uh, seized on uh, this as an opportunity to invite him to become an advisor, and I think he'll also tell us to some extent 